हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल सी एस एन आई टी ट्यूटोरियल्स बाय वृशाली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर सच अ गुड एंड पॉजिटिव रिव्यूज प्लीज शेयर माय चैनल विथ योर फ्रेंड्स एंड सब्सक्राइब इट सो दैट विल बी बेनिफिशियल फॉर एवरीवन इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट रीडर राइट अ प्रॉब्लम विथ सॉल एग्जाम्पल्स आई हैव अटैच अ कंप्लीट ओ एस लिंक इन बिलो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स This playlist will be helpful for your NSM exam as well as any other entrance exam purpose. Now, in today's session, we will discuss our next topic, that is producer-consumer problem. Let's start the session. So here, first we will discuss who is the producer and consumer in operating system. Then what exactly producer-consumer problem? Then schema for solution to solve this particular problem. Then producer-consumer process code. and at the end we will discuss some important question bank let's see all these points one by one let's understand first who is the producer and consumer in operating system see here in this particular table the first one is a producer producer means one kind of process or threads that generates the data or produce the information which is called as producer on the another side there was consumer so consumer is also like a process or thread they consume or use the data that was generated by the producer now let's understand with the example see here suppose if you want to enter a particular data on microsoft word file so we are using the keyboard right so when we are typing a particular keys they generate the keystroke so keyboard produce the keystroke and this keystroke generate the data they type data on microsoft word file or any other text editor right means keyboard produce the keystrokes and this keystrokes are used by consumed by the text editor so this is called as producer and consumer again another example web server produce multiple web pages and this multiple web pages are consumed by the clients for their multiple work purpose next example is regarding the printer when you perform the print command so printer drivers are there so this printer drivers produce the information and this information is used by the customer for printing purpose so this is called as producer consumer in operating system now what is producer consumer problem so producer consumer is one of the classic synchronization problem in operating system which is also called as bounded buffer problem let's understand with the diagram see here on one side there was the producer and another side there was the consumer producer produced the data and consumer used that data and in between that there was the particular buffer or we can say the database means producer produced this data and this data stored in this particular buffer and consumer used this data from the same buffer this is a shared buffer between the producer and the consumer now see here so producer produced the data first they generated the data one then two then three in this way and it at the same time consumer consume this data means when producer produce one data consumer use this information one after that producer produce two data consumer use this information two but sometimes what happen producer directly just produce the data the size of this buffer is four now right but producer continuously produce the data like 5 6 7 because consumer didn't consume the particular data as per the speed of the producer so at that time producer consumer problem have generated so this 5 6 7 this data is generated after the buffer is full that's why this is a wasted of data and this concept is called as producer consumer problem and the solution of this thing is see here at the time of producer they didn't produce any data when your buffer is full after buffer is full they will get the message and producer stop the production of data on the another side consumer not consume and this data when this buffer is empty and both producer and consumer when they use the same buffer that is shared buffer at that time mutual communication is necessary so these rules are used by the operating system by using schema for variable so this is the producer consumer problem 
Now let's understand how to solve this problem. See here, this is the semaphore solution to solve this particular problem. So semaphore is just like a special integer variable. We are using that variable while doing operating system programming. This variable is used for process synchronization purpose. This semaphore variable controls how many processes can access the shared resources at a time. So this is the use of semaphore variable. Now to solve the producer consumer problem, there are total three types of semaphore variable that we are using while doing programming. First one is a full, second empty and third one is a mutex. See here, when full equal to zero, it means that they indicate number of slots are filled in particular buffer. This is called full equal to zero. Then empty equal to n. They indicate number of empty slots in your buffer. And mutex equal to one. So this is a binary semaphore. They generate the mutual exclusion. Mutex have decided which process should use the buffer. Means either producer use the buffer or consumer use the buffer. These things are decided by the mutex. For that purpose, they use two functions, wait and signal. Wait function means a particular process use the particular buffer, which is called as wait function. Means they use the buffer and produce the data or consume the data. And signal function means release that resources. Means producer produce the data and after completion of produce, they release that buffer. They release the resources. This is called as signal function. Basically, wait function means use the buffer. Signal function means release that buffer. So, this all variables we are using while solving this particular problem. Now, let's understand step by step process of production by using coding. This is just a pseudo code that was used by programming in operating system. See here. The first step is produce item. This is just a function in your program. That is that indicate the producer want to produce the particular data. Now first step is wait empty means producer goes to waiting state. They are waiting when your buffer will be empty. So this is called wait empty. If your buffer is empty, then only producer produce the data. So this is called wait empty function. Next step is wait mutex. It means that when your particular buffer is empty, your producer goes to the critical section environment. See here. Now this buffer is empty, right? Miss producer will produce the data. So for production purpose, producer goes to critical section environment. Means they will get a chance to produce the data. So that was indicated by the wait mutex means enter into the critical section environment. Now, when producer enter into this buffer, means they use that buffer for producing data purpose. This is called wait mutex. Okay. So, when they use the buffer, they generate the multiple items as per the size of the buffer. See, first they generate 1, then 2, then 3, then 4. And the size of the buffer is 4 only. So, when your buffer is full, Next step is signal mutex means they leave that particular critical section environment. Now they will get the chance to the consumer. So signal mutex means they release that particular resources or release the buffer. And at the end signal full means your buffer now is full and there will be a chance of consumer to consume this data. So in this way by using semaphore variables producer consumer problems have solved. Now let's understand the process of the consumer by using sample code and this code used in programming of operating system. See here. The first step is wait full means consumer goes to waiting state until your buffer will get full. Next is wait mutex. So after buffer full Consumer enter into this critical section problem for consuming the data. Means now there will be a chance of the consumer to use this buffer. So this is called wait mutex. They hold the buffer. And when consumer enter into this critical section environment, they start the consuming the data. 
That's why out keyword is used. Consumer first used one, two, three, four in this way. And when this buffer is empty, at that time they perform signal mutex operation. So signal mutex means now when this buffer is empty after consuming the data, so consumer leave this critical section environment. Means they leave this buffer now. And after that, your signal is empty. Means your buffer is completely empty. Now it is a chance of producer again produce the data. So this complete process is called as consume item process. So in this way, operating system solve producer consumer problem by using semaphore variable. They use wait means hold the buffer, signal means release the buffer in this way. Now on that particular topic, as per your previous year question paper. This is one of the most important question. The first one is what is critical section problem and give semaphore solution for producer consumer problem. So you have to explain producer process and consumer process with code. Next question is explain the term mutual exclusion, synchronization and trace condition for six marks. So you have to prepare all this topic completely. This is all about thank you keep learning.